Hello, it is February 2017 and I am a week and a half post-op and that is the third stage phalloplasty, so the penile pro prosthesis, the implant basically. Um, surgery itself, um, I think it's far more complex and difficult than I'd realised which makes the recovery a lot more difficult and painful uh, than I thought as well. So, week and a half on, I'm still in some pain and discomfort, mostly because pretty much all of the implant that is like the pump and the reservoir all goes in the right testicle. The tubes then go into the, the penis from there. So the right hand side is incredibly sore. Uh, it's big. The left hand side is probably as I as I'd expect, which is just a, a seems like an ordinary testicle. It's not so painful. It's been quite a tough week and a half. Um, and what makes it a bit more difficult is I have a lump above the penis, um, where the tubes obviously come round from the right testicle up and then into the penis. Uh, that lump shouldn't be there. I've had my post-op appointment yesterday, so I've been holding off doing an update until I knew what was going on. They've confirmed it shouldn't be there. So there's two options. Once they get round to inflating and deflating me a few times, the uh, the actual implant might shift itself and the lump will go, or it's a possible another surgery, which is a bit disappointing. But overall, I have to admit, the results are pretty good. I wasn't prepared that the right side would be so big. Uh, I said at my post-op appointment yesterday, it feels like my skin's not big enough to take it, but she had a feel around and uh, she said there's plenty of space there, so it's good. It's just your body's got to adjust and it's gonna take a bit of time. Uh, when I had my pre-surgery consultation over the phone, uh, he said I was gonna be sore and he was not wrong. So today I feel a lot better uh, because, well two things, one I've had my post-op and they agree with me that the lump shouldn't be there so I feel a bit relieved that they are aware of it and they're monitoring me. Uh, I had my sick note come through from my doctor, signed me off for six weeks and actually at the post-op appointment yesterday the lady that I saw told me that I wouldn't be covered by any sort of insurance if I was to go off driving within six weeks of an operation, which I hadn't actually been told that before, and as my job involves a lot of driving, that was quite useful to know. Um, do feel a bit... Uh, maybe I've misled other people, because I've, I've, I've said all along, oh, the third one, the third op's not as big as the others, which in my mind it, it doesn't seem to be, it's just putting in an implant, whereas you consider having a hysterectomy at stage two and vaginectomy and connecting up your ether and there's a lot going on and of course the first stage with the arm and the balm and skin grafts and all sorts it, it the third one doesn't seem like it should have been uh, such a big deal but I very quickly learned that actually yes it is and out of all three ops now I would say that the middle one the hysterectomy was probably the least painful um, I have a scar, I might be able to show you actually, it's not too, uh, this is my, oh, hold on, let's angle that down, this is my new scar uh, from the third op, and over here, this is my old scar from the hysterectomy, so they're almost matching, um, and I, there is, hold on, that is the lump that shouldn't be there, so that's all implant, I can feel it, it's hard, it's just not very, not very pleasant really at the minute. Um, not what I would want um, to see all the time. So but hopefully, fingers crossed for me that they'll be able to sort me out. So this is my update. Um, I will let you know as things develop and um, any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'll be very happy to answer you. All right, take care.